Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have a really fun project. We're going to be making this mask. A robot mask with found materials from your home and your recycling. For today's project, we are going to need some aluminum foil that you can find in your pantry. A uh, old magazine that you are okay with cutting up. Some recycled materials. Uh, I have some recycled um, toilet paper tubes that I had laying around. Um, aluminum foil that I that has already been used but is clean. It's already crumpled. Add some texture. A recycled. Um, container from some fruit, recycled cardboard from an old frozen pizza box. I have some construction paper here, but if you don't have construction paper, you can either color a piece of already used paper um, or just use extra pieces of magazine. Okay, um, I have an old sock. Everyone, I think, has an old sock laying around somewhere. We all have sock elves in our homes taking our socks. My goal for this project is to use all recycled materials with the exception of scissors and glue. So this is a challenge that I want you all to take on. Get creative. Go around your homes. Look for these materials and other materials, different materials. I want you to get really creative make your very own robot. You don't have to copy my robot mask. To begin, have your piece of cardboard ready and it, it needs to be in the shape of a square. Um, it's going to be put in front of you like a diamond. You're going to first take your scissors and you're going to cut little tiny lines right here. on the two points. Doesn't matter what points, just go ahead and cut your lines. What we're going to do is take these two pieces here, fold them into each other like so. So it creates this triangle shape on the sides of your mask. So once we cut our lines, we have an idea of where the edges of the sides of our mask are going to be around our face. So now I'm going to just go ahead and take my scissors and round off the point at the top to kind of fit our face better, right? Now you could leave the bottom pointy. It might look more like a robot to you if you leave this bottom part pointy. I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead and just cut a small, a small corner off and leave it like this. Okay, so your corners are cut off. You've got lines here that you cut in. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you will also need some tape. This is just to tape the sides of your mask when you fold them over. So once you're done cutting your cardboard, go ahead and fold, fold your masks and tape them. Now, those of you who are younger, you might need some assistance from your parents. So go ahead and don't be shy. Ask for help if, um, if they're not working right now. Okay, or just try your best. So now that you've taped the sides, 
you are ready to get started on decorating your mask. At this point, you might want to reinforce your sides with some more tape. Um, you might want to cut out some eye holes. Have an adult help you with drawing and cutting out your eye holes, but Miss S will show you a trick here in a second. Okay, so we're back. I did my eyes. I um, just held my mask up in front of my face and used a pen or a pencil or anything really to kind of scribble where I felt like my eyes were. And then I drew guide circles around my scribbles. Okay, so now you're ready to go ahead and start cutting out your eyes. Cut a little line with your scissors. And then you're going to carefully cut around that hole that you created with your scissors. Now boys and girls, you might need to ask an adult for help with this. Please do not try to make holes alone. We are very careful with our scissors. Okay, now we're going to take our aluminum foil And I want you to get enough to cover, completely cover your mask. Where's our mask? There it is. Make sure it covers it all up. Okay. But before you put your aluminum on, we need to get something. What do we need? Hmm. We're gonna need some glue. So this is a little scary because we have to now do glue all over. Let's do glue all over our mask. Hmm. Glue, glue, glue. Okay, so there's our glue. You don't have to go crazy with it. And you're gonna take your aluminum and cover. Wrap it around your mask as best you can. Now that our glue is dry, I'm going to take a piece of construction paper or just even a piece of paper, any colored paper that you might have. I'm going to cut a strip. About this long. Round off the edges. And glue this 
over where my eye piece is. See my eyes? There's an eye. There's an eye. Make sure you glue it over, over your eyes. Now that that is dry, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and we are going to cut out the part that's over our eyes. Be careful. Be very, very careful. You're going to do the same thing you did before when you were cutting out your cardboard. Now that we've taken care of the eyes, we're now going to take a um, yellow piece of construction paper and make some more decorations. Just off to the side. So what I'm going to do, and you can do this with a piece of magazine paper too. I'm going to do a, an accordion or a fan. This is how you can make a fan out of paper, boys and girls. Okay, so fold over that bottom edge, flip the paper over. Fold it again. Flip the paper over. Fold it again. Flip the paper over. And fold it again and repeat. Keep going. The paper will get smaller and smaller and your fan will get bigger and bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect, just accordion it. Okay, so now that we have this lovely fan, We are going to take our scissors. Again, be very careful with your scissors, boys and girls. Ask an adult for help. This paper is a little thicker. You're going to cut strips, holding it horizontally.
going to be using our old sock here. Watch Miss S. I'm going to just cut out a rectangle and I'm going to put it right here as sort of a nose centerpiece on my robot. You can use your regular liquid glue for this. Lots of gluing happening on our, our masks, but once they're dry, you'll be able to wear them for a very long time. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, if you do not have a sock or you know, a piece of fabric laying around, you can always use your magazine or anything really that, that um, would work to make a rectangle shape that is sort of a different texture. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do two more rectangles with my fabric. You don't need to use a solid colored sock either. In fact, um, a cool design old sock would work probably the best. Miss S didn't have any cool socks. Now that this is dry, we are going to take our magazine, whichever one you have laying around the house. Some cool textures. I love the texture in this bird and in these leaves. It reminds me of a robot sort of texture. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some larger pieces out. I'm going to put my robot away for a second. Cut some larger pieces out that have some cool texture to them. So take a moment now to go get your magazine. our base for our mask, we're now going to add our very own decorations. Now you are not going to have the same things that Miss S has from magazines. So this is where our robots might start to look very different. They might already look very different because um, you used a different sock or a different material here. You used a different material around your eyes. Um, maybe use a different color down here. Miss S is just showing you a way to create a really cool robot mask that you'll have for a long time. Some strips out of it. We are then going to take 
this aluminum foil and we are going to wrap our pieces of toilet paper roll. Now once we've wrapped our toilet paper roll rings, <laughs> we are going to take them, put them off to the side, grab your mask, and we're going to glue them onto the top of our mask. I'm going to find a nice flat area. I'm just gonna stick it on bulky and got chunks of aluminum foil. They don't need to be perfectly smooth. In fact, you don't want them to be. You want them to be full of texture. Make sure you get a good clump of glue on there. Don't be afraid to get messy with your glue. Really press it on there. You want it to stay. In the meantime, while we're letting some of these things dry, you might want to get another recycled piece of material. For me, I decided to use a plastic um, fruit container. I'm going to cut it into more manageable pieces. Be careful if it's hard plastic, it's going to be sharp when you cut it. Be very careful. And what Miss S is going to do is cut it into little pieces like so not too little just enough to get some geometric shapes going on over here while you wait it's fine to take some of these pieces of other recycled materials and attach them to parts of your robot that you might want to add more decoration to. Pretty cool what you can make with recycled materials and some glue from the dollar store. Now we're going to let this dry for a while.